जय गुरुदेव एवरीवन वक्रतुंड महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समाप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुरु मे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा इस श्लोक का अर्थ है घुमावदार सुंड वाले विशाल शरीर काय करोड़ सूर्य के समान महान प्रतिभाशाली मेरे प्रभु हमेशा मेरे सारे कार्य बिना विघ्न के पूरे करे हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड आवर चैप्टर दिस इज अ रीडिंग वीडियो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ रीडिंग वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड द होल चैप्टर व्हिच इज डिजीजेस एंड प्रिवेंशन ओके and here i had taken all the text from your chapter in a in a pdf mode okay so start reading the chapter first of all we are going to read introduction the food we eat continue contains the food we eat contains special substances like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals they are called nutrients diseases is a abnormal condition of one or more body parts that does not allow the body to function properly the di- diseases can occur due to many reasons some diseases may occur due to microbes while some may be caused due to unhealthy lifestyle diseases deficiency of nutrition etc diseases are of two types non communicable and communicable now the topic is non communicable diseases the diseases that are not passed on from one person to another are called non communicable diseases most of the non communicable diseases are due to our unhealthy lifestyle for example excess intake of fatty food and lack of exercise can cause obesity which may lead to serious diseases such as diabetes and heart disease some of the non communicable diseases are caused due to the deficiency of a particular vitamin or mineral these are called deficiency diseases now the number one deficiency disease is night blindness night blindness it is caused by the deficiency of vitamin a if a person suffers from night blindness he is unable to see clearly in dim light to prevent this disease we should eat food like green leafy vegetables papaya mango carrot milk fish egg yolk butter and tomato now the second non communicable disease is beriberi beriberi this disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin b1 it affects the nervous system causes heart diseases and loss of weight and appetite to prevent this disease we should eat food such as unpolished rice peas milk cereals 
milk and green vegetables which are rich sources of vitamin b1 now the third non communicable deficiency disease is scurvy it is caused by the deficiency of vitamin c the symptoms of this disease are bleeding of gums and swelling of joints to prevent this disease we should eat food items rich in vitamin c for example citrus fruits gooseberry tomato cauliflower cabbage spinach sprouted grains and pulses non communicable disease rickets rickets this disease is caused by the deficiency of vitamin d the bones of the person suffering from this disease become soft and can break easily this disease can be cured by taking food rich in vitamin d for example milk cheese fish eggs etc sunlight helps in the formation of vitamin d non communicable diseases number 5 goiter goiter it is caused by the deficiency of iodine this disease causes the swelling of thyroid gland in the neck goiter can be prevented by using iodized salt in food seafood is also rich in iodine anemia sixth number non communicable disease anemia it is caused by the deficiency of iron in food a person suffering from anemia looks pale and tired has colorless lips and pale flat nails in anemia the hemoglobin level in the blood decreases so the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood reduces this disease can be cured by taking food rich in iron such as apple spinach banana pulses egg yolk liver brinjal jaggery and guava now is the time for the communicable diseases the diseases that can pass on from one person to another are called communicable or infectious diseases causes of communicable diseases these diseases are cured by the tiny living organisms called germs that enter our body germs are also small germs are so small that they cannot be seen with the naked eye but can only be seen under a microscope hence are called microorganisms or microbes microbes are found everywhere they grow rapidly whenever they get warmth food and air they can grow even inside the human body and animals now types of germs first is bacteria they can cause diseases like typhoid plague tuberculosis pneumonia and meningitis viruses they are the small agents that can grow only inside the body of a living organism they cause disease like common cold measles chickenpox polio and influenza third number it's protozoan they cause diseases like malaria and amoebic dysentery fourth one is fungi they can cause skin diseases such as ringworm spread of communicable diseases communicable diseases can be spread in many ways 
as discussed below. First way through direct contact. Many diseases like common cold, muscles, chicken pox, whooping cough, ringworm and scarlet fever spread through direct contact with the sick person or from the clothings or other articles such as handkerchief etc used by the sick person. Second, through infected food and water. Diseases like cholera and typhoid germs spread by infected food and water carrying germs. These diseases mostly affect the digestive system. Flies, cockroaches, rats and other small animals carry germs from garbage and sewers and deposit them on uncovered food and water. Handling food with dirty hands and lack of proper sanitation are the main causes of contaminated food and water. Consuming milk and meat of diseased animals can also cause infection. Spread of communicable diseases through air. Diseases like cold, pneumonia and TB spread through air. When a person suffering from these diseases coughs or sneezes, the little droplets thrown out contains germs. When a healthy person standing close by breathes in this air, germs enter his body and make him sick. Now through animals, diseases like dengue, malaria etc spread by bite of animals. The animals carry the germs from a sick person to another host. These animals are thus intermediaries and are called vectors. Mosquitoes are the most common vectors. Prevention of communicable diseases. Kitchens, toilets and bathrooms should be cleaned regularly. Nets should be fixed on windows and doors of houses to prevent entry of insects. We must protect ourselves from mosquito bites by using mosquito nets or mosquito repellents. Dustbins should be covered to prevent flies and other insects from breeding in the garbage. They must be cleaned regularly and dried in the sun. A hygienic environment must be maintained at places like bakeries, restaurants and dairies where food is cooked. The houses should be airy and open to the sunlight. Most germs die when exposed to fresh air and sunlight. Bedding and clothing should be dried in the sun from time to time. The patient's room should be kept clean and germ free. Clothes and other things of the patient should be kept separate. Children suffering from infectious disease should not be allowed to go to the school until they are cover, recover fully. We must use clean water for drinking and cooking. Water should be boiled for 10 minutes and then stored in clean and covered containers. Water filters can also be used for purification of water. Large quantity of water can be purified by chlorination. Oil must be sprayed on the surface of water in tanks and ponds to destroy mosquito larva. Vaccination is another way of protecting children against some common but deadly childhood diseases like diphtheria, tetanus, polio, cholera, hepatitis, typhoid and measles.
Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe and always stay blessed. And also you have to read the whole chapter like I had read in this video. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Jai Shri Ram.